Okay, let us see the fifth question. What he has mentioned? Let A is a set having one, two, three, four, six as elements. Let R be the relation on A defined by A comma B for all values of A B. Here he has not mentioned X Y but A B. Okay, both are same. A will come in X coordinate. Y will come in sorry B will come in Y coordinate. A B belongs to A. A means this one set A. Okay. B is exactly divisible by A. B is exactly divisible by A. He is asking us. Okay. Write R in roster form. Find the domain. Find the range. Okay. Before proceeding this problem, first you please write the sets. Why? Because unless you write these sets, we are going to do mistake. I am doing like this. Okay, one, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four, six. Let we don't give arrow diagram, but you have sets. What are all elements are there? Now you proceed. Now I am writing set A. A is equal to say one, two, three, four, six. Again B. B also same A. Okay, one. Two, three, four, six. Now, what is the uh, relation? B is exactly divisible by A. That means B should be divisible by A. For each element, I have to test, na? See, relation R in roster form. Let me take first A one. Okay, one divisible by one or not? Yes, divisible. Then you take one, comma. Two is divisible by one or not? Yes, divisible. You take two, comma. Three is divisible by one? Yes. Four also divisible by one. Six also divisible by one. You understand the concept? Unless you write like this elements, now you are going to do mistake. Directly you are going to do one two. You you will start from here. This you are not going to write. Your marks going to be deducted. That is why I am telling you. At, at least you write this set, or else you make some diagram. Then in uh, mind uh, you will think, oh, one is there, one also is there, one, one, two, two, three, three also divisible. Like that concept will come. Or else you are going to do the mistake. Okay. Okay. Now with one over, now we take two, two to one, no, not divisible. Two to two, yes, divisible. Two to three, not divisible. Two to four, yes, divisible. Two to six, yes, divisible. Okay, ah, huh. like this we have to write. Next, you go for three. Three to one, not. Three to two, not. Three to three, yes, divisible. Three to three. Three to four, no. Three to six, yes. Three to six, divisible. Okay, I have to put comma here also. Okay, three to six over. Now four. Four. Four to until four, no, nothing is going to be divisible. Okay, four to four, four to six, no, fraction will come. Over four, four story also over. Now come six, except six, which one is divisible? No, nothing. Then six to six, that's all. Close. This is the roster form of your relation. Relation, okay, relation R. If you want, you can write a relation also. Even if you put R, it, it indicates that relation. Okay, not required. Now what I am going to do? I am going to write uh, this is one. I am going to write two. Domain. Domain of R. Okay. Okay. See, domain of R means relations. Any element. If it is having relation with in B, then that comes under domain. You see here, all are having. One is having, two is having, three is having, four is having, six is having. That means one, two, three, four, six. All will come. Okay. Come to third part. Find the range. Range of R. 
same story you see y y coordinate all are there 1 2 3 4 6 you see 1 is there 2 is there 3 is there 4 is there 6 is there 1 is there 2 is there 3 is there 4 is there 6 is there okay you understand na question ha you have to write very carefully answers otherwise you are going to do any mistake then your marks is are going to deducted okay this is your fifth question we go for sixth question okay see the sixth question what they have written determine the domain and range of the relation r defined by r is equal to x comma x plus 5 for all values of x and x plus 5 x belongs to 0 1 2 3 4 5 see here he is not asked us to write relation study carefully see here he is not asked us to write relation He asked us to write only domain and range. That's all. Okay, domain and range we have to decide. Okay, domain and range without writing set also can we decide? Yes, decide. I am I am putting like this. You see here. Okay. Okay. Now what I am doing here? X. This is x plus five. R in bracket y is equal to y only, no? X y. When it comes x, it comes y. When it comes A, it comes B. That's all. Okay. Okay. Uh, first, you write X elements: zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. These are mandatory. X is mandatory. You have to write all the elements. Then you go for Y. Like X, are they put any controls? X should be zero to five. But what about Y? Have they mentioned anywhere? You see, please observe. Not mentioned, na. That means why any number it can come. If they give y is also belongs to n or up to here, uh, equal to or greater than something, then that we have to follow. Or else there is no limit. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Now we see x plus five. First element zero plus five. What will come? Five. Is it okay? Okay. Next second element one one plus five six. Okay. Then two two plus five seven. Three plus five eight. Four plus five nine. Five plus five ten. Is it okay? You see. Why because x x plus five x coordinate x y coordinate x plus five will come. X already has given here x plus five you have to take until you write x you cannot take y. X plus five is y only, na? Okay, this is the relation in front of your eyes. Relation is available. Now easily you can write domain and range. Okay, okay, write the domain and range. Okay, domain of R. Relation R is equal to. This is simply set only. Domain means you see these elements all are having relations or not? All are having relation. If any element without a relation is there, that should not be taken in domain. Okay. Now entire set is having relation. Okay. Then all elements have to be taken. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Understand na? Don't have any doubt na? Why? Because all have to come in domain because all elements are having relation with other side elements. Okay. Range of the relation same again. You write range of R. R is relation here. Okay. Uh, now you see what are all there? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All are there. But uh, any element without relation is existing? No na? Okay, then all we have to take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Close. You understand, na? Anything else? Determine the domain and the range of the relation. This relation he has given. This relation we have followed and made a relation. Domain and range we have written. Okay, over. Then we go for seventh question. That's it. The seventh question. Write the relation R. For all values of x, x cube, x, x cube. In x coordinate, x will come. Y coordinate, x cube will come. X what value he has given? X he has given. X is a prime number less than ten. That means x values you have to take. You have to take prime numbers which are less than ten. 
that will be a set of x x cube or y what you have to take you have to make a cube of those prime numbers okay like this we have to do in roster form we have to write okay first let us write the set of x x is equal to what all prime numbers less than 10 have to come that means prime number start from 2 3 5 7 afterwards below 10 only these 4 are prime numbers that's all then you close the brace okay now we write a roster form relation r is equal to okay first element is 2 next x cube has to come 2 cube 8 close next element 3 x is 3 y is x cube 3 cube 3 into 3 into 3 27 close next element 5 5 cube 125 next element 7 7 cube 49 into 7 343 close ok this is relation first determine the domain and range of the relation see oh sorry this is our, our question write the relation r in roster form that's all we have written he is not asked again domain or range he asked only relation that's all ok you understood now from this problem shall we go for 8th problem oh. asking let a is equal to x y z and b is equal to 1 to find the number of relations from a to b he is asking us ok see here number of elements in a 3 number of elements in b 2 then how many Cartesian products or elements are going to become 2 into 3 into 2 6 and what, how much relations are going to become 2 power 6 64 ok this is the answer we have to do how to write under steps you see uh, you write like this number of elements elements in A A means here set A comma n of a is equal to 3 ok 1 2 3 that is equal to p p y i am writing also you wait then again you write number of elements in b b means set b n of b is equal to 2 that is equal to q you write now you write number of relations from a to b is equal to 2 power p q these p and q if you don't write 2 power n of a n of b you have to write that looks awkward that is why let us take p and q only ok then 2 power p q 2 power p q means here how much 2 power 3 into 2 that is equal to 2 power 6 that is equal to 64 this is your answer ok you understand na? number of relations and even Cartesian products uh, sorry subsets of subsets subsets of Cartesian product also same Cartesian product if you make afterwards the subsets if you make automatically 2 power something will come subsets ok that, that will be your answer ok now shall we go for ninth question ok that may be the last question see the ninth question let R be the relation on Z defined by R is equal to A comma B for all values of AB. AB belongs to Z. A minus B is an integer. See here he is writing integer but these are all integers only. Z is integer. Z is integer. Okay, I have explained to you. Uh, that is why I am always request you to see my basic videos. Okay. Find the domain and range he is asking. See, he is not asking us to write a relation. You carefully observe. He is asking only to write domain and range. But without a relation, you cannot. You are not able to do. But even then, you write uh, at least elements. By writing elements, at least you came to know that what are all going to come in domain and range. Okay? Okay. Let us see. Uh, A, B belongs to Z means I am writing A, B set here. See, A is equal to minus infinity to minus 1 0 1 2 
प्लस इनफिनिटी दिस इज ये वाई बिकॉज ये बिलोंग्स टू जेड बी ऑल्सो बिलोंग्स टू जेड माइनस इन्फिनिटी माइनस वन जीरो वन इन्फिनिटी वेदर दिज ये बी सेट्स आर करेक्ट राइट आर रॉन्ग राइट ऑन है ना वाई बिकॉज जेड मीन्स लाइक दिस ओनली बिलकम इन दिस नेगेटिव इंटीजर्स आर दे पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स आर दे जीरो इज दे दोज आर जी इंटीजर्स मीन्स लाइक दट ओनली Now what is relation? Relation is telling a minus b is an integer. See here, I am writing one thing. I will take minus three. A minus b. He is he is mentioning a minus b. Now a minus b I have written here. Minus three I have taken as a. Minus here I will take four. Minus one will come. What is this minus one? Z only, na? Z. Then I am going to take a two uh, minus. This time I am I am going to take a uh, minus one three plus three. Just only positive integer. Okay. Even I will take this time four comma four both zero. Just only. See if you observe whatever may be the element if you take in here. If you minus from B, automatic result is going to come Z only. That means here domain is also Z integers, range is also integers. That you have to understand. Okay, relation from A to B is coming. A is also Z, B is also Z. Even if you make uh, what we can say operation also Z only will come. Okay, minus in minus integer. Negative integer or positive integer or zero, except these three, nothing will come. That means only Z will come. Finally, you understand, na? Uh, now what we can write? Domain of R is equal to Z. Range of R is equal to Z. Here, R is relation, Z is integer, not real number integer. Okay? रिलेशन इंटीजर डोमेन ऑफ रिलेशन आर इज इक्वल टू जेड रेंज ऑफ आर इज इक्वल टू जेड दिस इज द आंसर फॉर यूर नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन ओके नाउ वी फिनिश इड टू पॉइंट टू एक्सरसाइज नाउ थर्ड टू पॉइंट थ्री ऑल फंक्शन ओके रिलेशन फिनिश टू फंक्शन दिस चैप्टर इज रिलेशन एंड फंक्शन वी विल डू फंक्शन इन टू पॉइंट थ्री फंक्शन कॉन्सेप्ट लिटिल बीट बिगर इज देर दट मे बी Only concepts itself, it will take one video. Again, we will do two point three exercise in another video like that. We will do. Okay, thank you very much.